And he's got an electric Jeep. This Jeep here is powered. By, you tell me about it, Ian. Well, this is a DC drive system. It's 160 volts uh, nominal, uh, based on uh, eight volt golf car batteries. We have uh, 12 of them up in the front. There's eight more in the back where the fuel tank used to be. Uh, the motor is underneath the battery pack. Yeah, we've got a lot of splash protection under the motor because. Uh, uh, most DC motors are uh, open frames, so they can get water inside them. So since this is an off-road vehicle, we uh, put a lot of splash protection on it. What you're looking at there is the front end of the motor with a uh, forced air cooling inlet on it. Uh, so we can run high averages at low speeds without uh, overheating the motor. Um, we also run the factory alternator and the power steering pump off the uh, belt drive. We should have air conditioning. We didn't do it with this one because we... Uh, uh, the idea was to outfit these for the uh, uh, Jeep Tour companies in Sedona. Okay, yeah. first of all... No gas tank. Here's, no here's, here's your filler right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's one of all our right. little trademarks. Okay, now that we're back here, tell me what's going on. Well, uh, to get more range out of the vehicle, um, what we're doing is developing uh, what we would call a hybrid trailer. Basically, we have a, a generator here that's uh, 17 and a half kilowatts. You're, doctor, you're a hybrid between your fuel cell and gas. Yeah. Those so two. What we're looking at is a hybrid hybrid. Yeah, at idle, it's running at about 88% of it is hydrogen. And uh, at high speed, uh, about 91% of the fuel is hydrogen. We have a control system here that we designed ourselves. This shows each one of the. Uh, the uh, Units here. This this is the idle unit, and this is the uh, the high end unit. This thing has an electronic sensor on it that tells when you're drawing power, and it cues the thing to idle up. Well, from that signal, we have a, a little circuit board in here that recognizes that signal and turns the second generator on. I'm seeing a Jeep that you plug in, charge up, and it'll do broken arrow with 50 percent, maybe enough to do it twice. Uh, pretty close. To With a full time. load. Okay, that's where you get the hybrid hybrid when you hook up the trailer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so th that tank, it looks like about, let's say, a 10 gallon tank. I that's guess. about right, yep. Okay, when you kick in the hydrogen cells and you use that generator just to keep the batteries topped off, how much range do you think you have out of that tank and, and what? A uh, three-fold increase over how it would run just as a, a series hybrid by adding Doc's hydrogen uh, system. Around 120 miles per gallon. So out of a 10-gallon tank, we're, what we're hoping for is about a 1,200-mile range. Um, we are uh, still Hold on. <laughs> now, you just said something. 120 miles per gallon. That sounds a lot like X price. I like the 1,200 mile range on a 10 gallon tank of gas. That's the idea, yeah. That's uh, but you could see that going more. Uh, potentially, yeah. The um, is that range, normal driving speeds? That would be uh, around town uh, type driving speeds, say up to 40 miles an hour. Um, with electric vehicles, your uh, your range is. Uh, severely affected by the speed that you travel at. So highway speeds are going to cut into that uh, quite a bit. We might be down around 80 miles per gallon on the highway, um, but around town, conservative driving up to 40 miles an hour, I would anticipate somewhere around 120 miles per gallon. Right in bush, I was got it down to a crawl. Looks like it's going to be another long haul. Drive time, DJ plays a rocking song and a powerful